Senate negotiators announced Sunday that they struck a bipartisan deal that moves forward with gun safety. The agreement is significant given how divided lawmakers have been over guns, making this proposal one of the first that's advanced in the Senate. On what will be additional costs that Congress will have to vote on. The proposal includes mental health resources and improvement on school safety. It will also include a red flag provision which helps ensure dangerous criminals and those who are adjudicated as mentally ill can purchase weapons. This federal proposal doesn't sound like it's exactly a gun violence restraining order. It sounds like what they're doing is they're basically giving funding to local areas to come up with their own type of red flag laws. That's a little scary. The announcement is supported by 10 Republicans, which gives the proposal enough support to overcome the Senate filibuster. The actual legislative text is not yet written, which is why those who oppose gun control say they are cautious. A little unclear. I'm definitely interested in, in specifics on some of these, but they do talk about some good things like fixing the mental health system in the United States and uh, securing schools, providing funding for securing schools, which is something that the federal government can absolutely do. Adding that they will not support any gun bans. But it's also unconstitutional. It's just not going to stand up in court. This comes weeks after the mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas, and just a day after thousands rallied across the nation protesting gun violence. Local groups who support gun control say although this is a step in the right direction, they believe the proposal still needs work and want more. On weapons like the AR-15, then Raising the minimum age from 18 to 21 is a no-brainer. That's already in effect for handguns. Why wouldn't it be for these kinds of guns? Ron Marcus, the president of San Diegans for gun violence, has been fighting for gun reform since 2013 after the Sandy Hook mass shooting. He says it's disappointing to see that it's taking years and other mass shootings to get to this point. Every single day that goes by that the government tries to kick the can down the road, um, they're allowing more deaths to happen. And that is the worst and most tragic part of this. This is preventable. Regina Yurita, CBS 8.